and on the fence sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out we've had lots of the details changing and I wanted to make sure everything was all set up before uh, releasing all of the details uh, there will be links to everything I'm showing you in the description box below but I wanted to walk through this a little bit so you guys can see uh, now of course this is a get-together there's no conference or anything going on it's just us getting together loving individuals hanging out meeting and greeting one another at east city i can't think of a more safe and sacred place than east city for our group to meet at uh, east city stands for the enlightened for enlightened contact with extraterrestrial intelligence uh, so for us in our little group you know we don't really have the whole fear-based view of contact we uh, have a different view and this is well in alignment with james gilliland and his east city ranch and I do want to thank him and everyone there for having us out. And uh, it, it is invitation only. So even if you don't plan to camp there and you're just going to come out for the Skywatch evening, you'll still want to register at the website uh, beforehand because it is private property and you do need to be invited. Uh, so East City Ranch, it's located in Washington near Trout Lake. Let me see here. It's Pacific Northwest beautiful um i've actually got uh, you, for those who are not driving to this location you'll want to uh, plan on flying into portland airport you can see it overlooks mount adams uh, i've got the i actually pulled up the directions there in the description box below from portland airport to east city ranch so what you'll want to do is open these up print them out because you might not have service in the air so it's real important that you either save these on your phone in case you don't have connection or print it out if you can't if you have a printer um, but I know a lot of times if you're on your computer you can you can hit control P like you want to print it or right click and hit print and then print it to a PDF so it's just actually it's not printing it out onto paper it's printing it out into a PDF file that you can take that file with you on your phone uh, but that will allow you to, to, to have the directions if, for some reason, you don't have data connection in your area. And what I would also recommend is going into the directions and flipping it around. If you need directions to return, um, you can see here there's a little option up here to send it to your phone. So it's got my phones listed here. Thank goodness it doesn't have my phone number listed there. But anyway, there's my email address. That's not a secret, but I can send it to any of the phones I've had. Some of them I don't have anymore. But uh, yeah, you can send the directions to your phone, have it, and then flip it around. And of course, you see here, this route has tolls. I believe there's a toll road right across here, across this river. So I think that's a few bucks, a couple bucks or something. But you'll want to print these out, have them for you. Uh, it's about an hour and a half drive from Portland Airport, PDX, to the East City Ranch. Um, you can actually come here and click on this little pen in the map and it will pull up images. You can actually go over here and check out some of the images if you want. V beautiful views. This is a wonderful place. I'm so excited that we're going to meet here. Okay, so for the details, of course you see it's August 8th through the 11th, but uh, that will, that's August 8th is a Thursday. The 11th is a Sunday. For those camping there or staying there, you don't have to actually check out and you have to be out of there by noon on the 12th, August 12th. So you can stay there for that final evening, Sunday night, for the Sky Watch. And then, you know, the campers can load up and head out Monday morning. No problem there. So although this says 8th through the 11th, we really have until noon on the 12th to leave out. So I thought that was an important detail. Some people, I know Eileen is leaving out on Sunday. Some people's flight goes back home on Sunday, and they're going to leave out Sunday morning. So that's fine. Uh, we'll have uh, from the Thursday till the Sunday, though. Let's see here. I have this link in the description. This is eSETI.org, but I also have links to the, directly to the pages. But if you come here and you're ready to book, you can click on events right here and this will open up you'll scroll all the way down you'll see camping and skywatch weekend unbiased and on the fence on site and you'll click buy tickets and from there you can choose what you want to buy as far as uh 
let's see. Now, I noticed some of the dates haven't been updated on here. I'm sure they just copied and pasted the last event over. So some of these dates, instead of Thursday, July 25th, that should actually read August uh, 8th. But uh, they just got back from contact in the desert. They're, they just wanted to get this up really quick. So they might have some, uh, some fine-tuning to do there. But you'll click on Buy Tickets. You'll see what's left and what's available. If you're just registering to show up there, but you're, you've made other arrangements, you can uh, go in here and, uh, let's see, Skywatch only, not staying at East City. It's $10 to get in for the 9th and the 10th. The gates do close at 8, so if you're not staying there, I guess you'll have to be out by 8. I'm not really sure on the, uh, the exact details of that. I guess we'll have to... Uh, follow that up later and figure that out but yeah you'll just come here you can see some of the rooms are already sold out the eagle's nest some of them are sold out some of them are still available though so come here check this out they do have camps to rent they have these yurts to rent they're like little cabin type things uh let's see per yurt two people one twin bed okay so you can come in here and look at each one has different things in it so You'll see what's available. I know you can rent tents. I think they have up to seven or so that they have like a queen size air mattresses. But you can just come here, see what's available, and you'll want to book here on this site. Um, I would recommend definitely looking at these links before you actually call them because a lot of the questions are answered in the first time visitors page and the frequently asked questions page. Now they got this huge event coming up July 4th. We don't really wanna pound them with a bunch of phone calls, especially if the information is already here on the site. So please do take time to uh, kind of read down through here. A couple of things I wanted to note is, of course, no drugs or alcohol or marijuana use on the sacred property. Um, we wanna be clear-minded to make this, this connection. I don't see that being a problem with anybody, but just so you know, I wanted to get that out there. You can't smoke. There's designated areas. Uh, you can either do it at the fire pit or at your vehicle. Uh, so you can't smoke there, but they don't want to litter the land with cigarette butts, and we totally get that. We're gonna, we want to make sure we leave the place like we found it, clean up after ourselves, and uh, treat the land like it is sacred. And uh, let's see, there was an instance where someone's uh, service animal bit one of the animals on the property. Um, so no service animals. I do apologize. There's no animals of any kind. So if you do have a service animal, you'll have to make other arrangements. That's the one thing that I knew some of our uh, viewers do have service animals. So I did want to make sure I mentioned that here. That and uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So yeah, if you go to the frequently asked questions, you'll see it covers the smoking, the alcohol policy. Uh, there's directions here as well, so if you want to copy this, these down here, uh, let's see. Yeah, even if you have to hand write it out, I guess you could still do that here. Cause it, it, uh, and then there's other, you can see there's shuttle services if you're trying to get from the airport to the ranch. Um, there's shuttle services you can look up uh, to figure out if that's, I guess, more cost effective than renting a vehicle. I think... Um, if you get a little economical vehicle and uh, in, if we can pair up with people that are also coming and we can uh, try to figure out when flights are arriving, we can do all this in the chat room. So please don't hesitate. If you're, if you're wanting to go, you're not really wanting to rent a vehicle. Maybe you can pair up with somebody pitch in on their vehicle rental and then ride with them from the airport. Depending on when flights arrive, you might, might have to wait a little bit for that person to arrive or whatever, but we can coordinate that. We have plenty of time to uh, coordinate and all that. Okay, yeah, $2 toll to cross the Washington, cross into Washington, and then two, uh, $2 to come back. So that's the toll that I mentioned earlier. But all of this is here. There's uh, food and supplies nearby, and all, all of this information is on the frequently asked questions. So you can check that out. So we have frequently asked questions, first time visitors. I'm gonna go back to this first page and just let you guys know where you can find this in information because another one, oh, I, I see I don't have it here, but uh, let's go back to, this. this is if you first show up at the website. Now, if you're on a mobile device, if for some reason this banner doesn't show up for you guys, um, you might have to kill your ad blocker because I wasn't getting anything. My page started at welcome before I disabled my ad blocker, so none of the menus were showing up. 
So if you're not seeing it this way, you might want to make sure your ad blocker isn't stopping something from showing up. If you're on a mobile device, let me see if I can stretch this over and trigger it as a... Okay, yeah, if, if you can see, if you're on a mobile device, you're probably going to have these three lines right here that you have to click. And once you tap on that, then all your options will come up here. You can see events is the main one here. Uh, about eSETI. You can see ranch info. You'll want to hit this plus. And then that will bring up the first time visitors, frequently asked questions, accommodations. I will put these three links below, but just so you guys know how to find it if you can't. Uh, if you're on a regular site, you'll go to more, scroll down to ranch info, and you'll see here they pop out again. First time visitors, frequently asked questions, accommodations. So I'm going to go to, to the accommodations because when you go to order your tickets, it's going to give you different choices. And a good way to come back to it is uh, to know what you're looking at is to come to this accommodations page. And you can see this is the Eagle's Nest. This is the Pyramid Guest Room. It has pictures of the different. Here's uh, one of the pictures of the little yurt cabin type uh, facilities that are available. So that'll give you an idea of what you're looking at, what it's going to look like. Most of these don't have electricity, or I don't think any of them do. The main house does. Um, there is bathroom and shower facilities uh, for the campers. And uh, there's a meditation room. And uh, so, yeah, all the prices are here on this accommodations page. Uh, let's see what else. Now, when you click events, it's actually going to take you to their booking site. It's a different, you can see it's actually got a different URL, Ticket Tailor. So this is a, a, the service. And once again, you'll scroll down, hit on Bison on the Fence, Buy Tickets, and that will get you to that. Uh, what else do we need to cover here? I think that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to send me an email if it relates to anything I might know. Um, let's see. Okay, directions. Uh, if you're driving in, you can actually click that same link and just update it. Instead of having the airport up here, you can put in your actual address. And then once again, you want to make sure you save those to your phone. There is an option where you can save. I'm not sure. It depends on the device. But it will actually say, would you like to save this in case you don't have service in that area? And, you, and, and it will download the instructions. So whether you have service or not on your cell phone, it will still load in. It will actually save it to your hard drive on your phone or your handheld device. So with that, I think that pretty much covers it. I want to keep this really short. If you do have any questions, you can call the ranch. If you go to contact, uh, let's see, frequently ask questions more, contact us. It's under more as well. And you can drop them, you can fill this in, or you can dial this number here. And I will have that information below as well. I'm not going to put the, uh, their Gmail down there because I don't want it to get spam. But you can see it's eSetiRanch at gmail.com. Here's the phone number. If you have any questions that were not addressed on the Frequently Asked Questions page, you can do so. And I look forward to seeing everybody there. I'm so excited. This is going to be an awesome time. August 8th through 11th, 2019. Lots of love and light to each and every one of you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. If you'd like to support the work I do, go to paypal.me slash UOTF. Thanks.